Hello, hi, I'm Jonathan Acker, your student union president for 2016-17, and this is your freshest big reveal. The team has been working round the clock to make sure that you have the best freshest possible. But before we go to Matt and JT, here's a few moments of our best bits of freshest last year. Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm JT. And we're going to be your presenters for this year's Freshers Reveal. We've got so much info to give you over the next 20 minutes or so, so sit back, relax, grab a pen and paper and enjoy the show. The first thing on the agenda tonight is the Platinum and Gold Cards. It's an add-on to your student card to give you discounts throughout the Union all year. So without further ado, here's a little video to explain some more. Platinum and Gold. What are they and how do they work? We'll start with the Gold Card. Coming in at £89, it's going to save you £120 across your whole year here at LSU. You get free entry into selected events that the Union holds all year. You get a Freshers Ball ticket included in your purchase and you get to see Tony Lee, our X-rated hypnotist, perform once. You get 150 points with your purchase and it's worth £219. An excellent card for those people that enjoy a night out and want to come out on a semi-often basis here at the Union. Next up, it's the big one. It's Platinum. Costing £149, this card is going to save you £314 across the whole year. You get free entry into every single standard night that the Union's going to hold. You get a Freshers Ball ticket included in your purchase. You get to see Tony Lee, our X-rated hypnotist, perform twice. And you get 300 loyalty points with your purchase. The card's worth £463. Make sure to get on mum and dad's case and get this for you before you come to Freshers on the 27th. You can buy them from the address right here, so make sure to get them before they sell out. We'll see you when you move in on September the 27th, 28th or 29th. See you there. So there you have it, Gold and Platinum, a serious opportunity not to be missed. They will sell out, so make sure you're up for their release at 9am tomorrow. Also rolling out this year brand new for Freshers is the DSN Disability Students Network sticker. This is to help students that are coming into Loughborough with disabilities engage with freshers to the maximum. If you feel that you're eligible or may benefit from the DSM privileges, make sure to go onto the website at this link and click on it to submit a nomination form. And now onto our Twitter competition. So, the Twitter competition. If you, feel, if you feel that you might be lucky enough to win a free gold or free platinum card, make sure to go onto Twitter and tell us what you're most looking forward to about hashtag LSUFreshers16. So that's your chance to win either a platinum or gold card for free. As Matt says, don't forget to use the hashtag LSUFreshers16 so we can find you. We'll be releasing the results for the competition a half hour out of the show, so make sure to keep tweeting throughout this and a little bit after. But now, on to the main events. What goes down during Freshers? Here at Loughborough, we've got a massive two weeks of Freshers for you to enjoy, with each day offering something totally new and completely different for you to try. We're going to go to your societies and education officers, Joe and Lewis, to tell you exactly what to expect from week one. So this is your first week of Freshers 2016. On Tuesday the 27th, we have our first group of halls moving in. That's Irvin Richards, William Morris, David Collett, Royce and Towers. Then here on the Union Lawn during the daytime, about 1pm, we've got a mini golf session, completely free. Once you've finally got rid of your parents, unpacked your room, sorted out your stuff, met your flatmates, come on down to the Students' Union for your first night out. It's a huge, huge. Stupid Tuesday. <laughs> Britain's Got Talent finalists, Boogie Storm. Then, on the Wednesday, we've got some more halls moving in. Starting off with Butler Court, Kayleigh, Faraday, Hazel Rick Rutland and Harry French. At about 1pm, we've got an inflatable course happening right here at the Union. It's a knockout. Uh, once all of that's done, we have a massive night here at the Union. We have LSU favourites, Hot Dub 
time machine, taking you on a whirlwind course of history and music from the 1950s to the 1960s to the 1970s, the 1980s, 1980s the 1990s, 2000s, 2010s to now. Then on the Thursday, we have the rest of the halls moving in. That's Telford, Faulkner Eggington, The Holt, Rutherford, and my personal buddy hall, Robert Bakewell. Following that, we have coffee house sessions in the Union, where you can watch a few acoustic acts and chill out some music. Then we have the night out. All of the halls that moved in Tuesday and Wednesday will be off into the variety of nightclubs in town. And the halls that moved in this day will be featuring at the American House frat party in the Union with the Thomas Nicholas Band. Then it's Friday, and this is the big day. Yes, you'll all have your course inductions, but we'll be hosting a list of activities as well. First off, you can come on our Pokemon Go party, get yourself accustomed to the campus, find out where everything is, and catch yourself some rare Pokemon at the same time. After this, you can head on down to Hollywell and Victory Hall for a game of UV Volleyball. That's a rave and it's volleyball at the same time. After that, it's the big night. It's the massive night, it's Freshers FND, where every single hall on campus will be coming down to the Students' Union for a huge night hosted by Chris Stark and Scott Mills from BBC Radio 1. Then, on the Saturday, it's the first of the exec 50-50s, where you can get your first real taste of hall spirit to prepare you for what might be happening the next day. Later on in the day is the AU Bazaar, where you can get a taste of all the sporting things that we've got on, and maybe, just maybe, join in with the UK's most successful and longest running sporting experience. How long have we won Box Lewis? 36 years on the trot, I think. How many years has Box been running, Lewis? 36 years, I think. Good. That's every single year. Following that, your halls will be taking you for a night out into town, but if that doesn't take your fancy, you can come down to the Union for our big night in. We'll be having a massive sing-along to The Lion King. Take it away, Joe. Marsavenia, am I hitting my bow? Or, if that doesn't take your fancy, we have Subversion, our fortnightly night at the Union dedicated to rock and metal music. I don't know any rock music. And then in the evening... It's the big one. It's back. It's bigger. It's better. It's, it's the, the Sing Off 2016! So it's a huge first week of Freshers this year with some awesome acts, amazing events and loads of things to take up your time as you become accustomed to the Loughborough lifestyle. But now it's time to talk about it. It's the biggest event. It's the Sing Off 2016. Now the Sing Off is no joke. It's an unbelievable experience and something you'll not want to miss. It's three heats of five halls in which each hall has two minutes to have a song and chant off against one another and in the final, where one lucky hall is crowned the winners of the Sing Off 2016. Will anyone be able to knock Bill Moore off their pedestal? What do you think of the Sing Off, JT? Unbelievable. Let's show the people what it's like. It is absolutely indescribable. Just the feeling when you walk into that room is like nothing you've ever felt before. I don't even really think you can really describe it. Like, Sing Off is one of the things that you have to experience for yourself. I can't tell you about what it's going to be. It's screaming, it's shouting, you'll give yourself a headache, but the last thing you want to do is have your hall come last. It's about the competition and seeing which hall is the best. <laughs> If you've not lost your voice by the sing-off, you're probably not doing it right. It's just adrenaline, adrenaline, adrenaline. All night. Fucking <laughs> sick. So now that you've seen just how loud and extreme the sing-off is, let's go over to Anna and George who are going to show you who's facing who in this year's heats. Thanks guys, I'm George Holmes, LSU's first ever postgraduate executive officer. I'm Anna, your acting executive officer. Welcome to the sing-off draw 2016. In this cup we have 15 numbered balls, each representing a hall. Anna will take the first ball and place it in heat one, then heat two, then heat three. We'll carry on until we're out of balls. Shall we begin? Yeah. Okay, pool number one. Number two, Kaylee. It's been five years since Kaylee last won the sing-off, reaching the final in 2014 with their Kaylee Madhouse. They've got an exciting committee team this year who will be anxious to reach those heights again. Hmm, okay. Or number two, the Heat two. Number seven, Harry French. 
Harry French haven't reached the final in the past few years, but we could see that change this year. Coming off their overall Hall of the Year victory last year, their spirits are high and we could see them barge their way to the top. Okay, next hall we have is number nine, Holt. The Holt made a passionate return to the sing-off last year after taking a few years off. They smashed their first year back, so let's see if they can keep that momentum going. Okay, heat one, hall two. Number 12, Rutherford. Rutherford haven't seen a final in a long time, but they're no slouches. With a big number of freshers coming in, we could easily see them reach a final if they play their cards right. Okay, heat two, hall two. Number 10, Robert Bakewell. One of the most passionate halls about, but yet to win the sing-off in their short history. Can their sing-off leader take them to that long-awaited sing-off title that has eluded them so far? Can it? Okay, heat three. David Collett. David Collett have yet to reach a final in my long time here, but with the standards rising across the board and underdog stories all the rage, can we see them nab a place in this year's final? I wonder. Number four, Elvin Richards. Elvin have come close the past few years to claiming sing-off glory, coming second last year and third the year before. Can they finally do it this year and reach the top spot? I wonder. Heat two. Number eight, Hazel Rick Rutland. Rig Rutt's last appearance in the final came in 2012, coming second to Bilmo. The past few years have seen some controversial chants and behaviour hinder their progress. But with a passionate and strong committee, we could see them finally make it back to the final stage. Heat three. Number 13, Telford. Telford were sing-off winners in 2014 and went on to win overall Hall of the Year. As one of the largest halls, they can raise the roof with their chance and their freshers. Can they reclaim the top spot that Bilmo took from them last year? Heat one again. Number 14, Towers. It's been a long time since Towers have claimed the title, last doing so in 2010. They're regularly one of the most original halls and have stolen the show with some of their costumes. Is this year their year? Heat two. Number 15, William Morris. A sing-off powerhouse, Bilmo have won the sing-off the past three of four years. Two years ago, Telford spoiled their party. Can someone do it again this year? Heat three. Number six, Faraday. A regular in the final stages of the competition, Faraday are often one of the loudest halls around. Here's hoping they can go the extra distance and claim their first sing-off title in a long time. Okay. Last haul for heat number one. Number five, Faulkner Egerton. With their history of some of the rowdiest and most controversial sing-off performances and a massive number of freshers, can Falk Egg channel these efforts and make a claim for the top spot? They came close in 2013, reaching the final. Okay. Last heat for number two. Number 11, Royce. Royce have made a few appearances in the final over the past five years. Their strong mix of catchy chants and choreography impressing the judges. We'll have to see if they can match those heights this year. And this leaves us with the last haul, which is number one, Butler Court. Butler have exceeded expectations in the last few years, even making the final in 2014. As one of the smallest halls, we can expect some exciting things from them if they want to make the final. So, there you have it guys, that's your sing-off draw 2016. Before we shoot off, we're just going to go through the heats one last time. In heat one, we have Kaylee, Rutherford, Elvin Richards, Towers and Folk Egg. Heat two, Harry French, Bakewell, Rigra, Bilmo and Royce. And in heat three, we have The Holt, DC, Telford, Faraday and Butler. Thanks for watching. Thank you. So some massive hall rivalries across all three heats, Cayley and Rutherford, Bakewell and Rig Rutt, they're all going to be going off at each other and Bilmo have got an incredibly tough heat to get through to get back to the final this year. So it's sure to be another epic instalment to Loughborough's famous sing-off. But now, on to week two of freshers. In the second week, your lectures are going to start and university is going to enter full swing. But don't let that stop you from getting involved in another fantastic week of freshers. Here's Nuz and Josh to tell you exactly what's going on. 
Your second week of Freshers is just as exciting as the first, with a huge range of activities for you to take part in. You'll never find time between lectures to sit around and do nothing. So on Monday you can take part in salsa classes, darts and circus skills, and in the evening you can take part in roller disco, mini golf and fun inflatables. When Tuesday comes around you can do very similar things again. In, during the daytime we've got roller disco, mini golf and inflatables all around the union. But in the evening we've got Stupid Tuesday, a great night in the week and the inflatables will still be up in one of the rooms. So on Wednesday we can take a walk to Beacon Hill um, and play dodgeball as well at Victory Hall. Now it's time for me to tell you about our first big match of the year on one of the most impressive events of your freshers. On Wednesday the 5th of October our men's rugby union team will take on Exeter in what is set to be their biggest game of the season. The two sides met in last year's Bucks final at Twickenham in March with Exeter coming out on top with a last minute drop goal so Loughborough are out for revenge. The big match during Freshers last year had a stadium sellout, an incredible atmosphere as over 3,500 students packed the stands to cheer our boys on to a momentous victory. Tickets are available for just £5 at the link below. They also come with your first bit of sport and stash, a Loughborough Sport t-shirt. This event is certainly one to not be missed, so get your tickets early, join the crowds and come see what Loughborough Sport is all about. So on Wednesday night we have Hey You, which is a paint party uh, with the biggest paint cannon in the country. Thursday sees coffee house sessions return during the daytime. Or in the evening we've got a Lance Corporal Richard Jones's Fresh Magic Show. If that doesn't take your fancy, want to head to Cognitos for a student guide to surviving freshers. On Friday we have Brave Minton, which is UV Badminton, and in the evening we have Returners F and D, where freshers get a chance to meet returners. We also have Pure House Takeover. Saturday sees the biggest night of freshers. It's our fanciest night, it's dressed to impress, we have our biggest acts. It's the Freshers' Ball. On Sunday, why not come down and relax at our vintage fair? Or if not, come to our most colourful event of Freshers, the Colour Dash. It's a charity fun run with lots of paint. Or in the evening, come take part in our big quiz. Another huge week for you to enjoy there, and obviously the highlight being Freshers' Ball. So, now I'm going to go to our Society's Officer and our Union President, Joe and John Acko to tell you exactly what we've got for Freshers' Ball, what's on offer, who's going to be performing, and just about how it's going to run. And they're going to be in one of our bars downstairs. OK, so what's happening on Freshers' Ball? Uh, fill us in, mate, fill us in. All right, so we've got so much going on, starting off with the show hawk duo and the coffee house sessions, which, if you want a bit more chilled for you right to the night, that'll be for you. We've got so much stuff around the union, Joe. We've got some fairground rides, we've got some Red Bull, Silent Disco, did you know that? We've got the fireworks presentation, which is always amazing. And of course, stuff like donuts, chocolate, and so many things. Amazing. Now it's time for the big act of the night. Our opening, our opening act on the main stage. She's uh, brand new to the world of music. She's already doing big things. Uh, she's just released her most recent song featuring Cambridge favourites, Clean Bandit. Uh, she's your X Factor winner from last year. Oh. It's Louisa Johnson. You won't bring me down, and I'll get over you. These tears will get me through, and I'll get over you. Uh, uh, I'll get over you. And our supporting act for the night, he's making huge waves in the dance scene, you know. Uh, he's got some songs like a rendition of Fast Car, as well as a new song with JB Cooper. Do you know him? I know him. It's Jonas Blue. And now it's my absolute pleasure to announce our headline act for the night. Uh, taking us on the main stage for the final, he's a massive, and I mean massive, massive mover in the world of dance music. Uh, he's had a breakthrough year, but he's already making waves. Uh, he's just released a brand new single we, uh, called Easy Love. He's got a single out at the moment with Craig David. Craig D. He's announced the song for the summer featuring Sigma and Amani Williams. That's right. 
It's the Gala! An amazing night this year for Freshers Ball and three huge headlining acts for you to enjoy. So the question you're probably asking is, how do I go? It's quite simple. As we said earlier, when you buy a platinum or gold card, you get a Freshers ticket included in your purchase. So you can sit back and relax. If you're not buying one of them or you've missed out, make sure to go to the link below where you can buy your Freshers Ball ticket for the small price of £39.50. But that's it from us here and that's all your big info for Freshers. Don't forget to join the official Loughborough Students Union Freshers page on Facebook where you can see all the extra info that we've got out until your moving days. But for now, everyone, from everyone here at LSU, we've hoped you've had an amazing summer so far and you're absolutely buzzing for the Freshers that we've got planned for you. So get your platinum cards, get packing, get excited and get ready for the time of your life. We'll see you soon.